What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Now in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to build the browse abandonment flow in Klaviyo. So I'm gonna share my screen and let's get started. All right, so here we are in Klaviyo and this is what we're gonna do. So we're gonna click flows on the left and we're gonna click create flow on the top right. And what I'll search for is a browse abandonment. And the first one that comes up is browse abandonment standard and that's the right one. And it'll ask you to pick a name here. So I'm just gonna delete the word standard and just call it the browse abandonment. Tags, you can ignore this part and just click create flow. Cool. So this is the structure that it's gonna give us by default. So by default, the wait time is two hours. Now I like to have this wait anywhere between two to four hours. Um, and the browse abandonment email one is usually what they give you by default. So it's just a one email flow, but we like to have at least two emails in this flow. So what we'll like to do, we'll start with the actual trigger here. So first of all, this is what the settings should look like by default. Now, if yours don't look like this, I recommend clicking edit and just making sure they look exactly like this. So checkout should be started zero times to start this flow. Um, and then has not been in this flow in the last 30 days. This is really important because this flow can trigger a lot because uh, quite often people go to your website and they, you know, they bounce um, after browsing products and we don't want to spam our audience <laughs> so 30 days is good so basically what this means is you're only going to get uh, sent this flow at maximum you know once a month which is perfect so the next thing that we want to do is for the actual time delay the most important thing that we should have here is making sure this time delay is longer than your current abandoned checkout flow so if your abandoned checkout flow is two hours then this should be say three hours. It should be more than that because otherwise we don't want the <laughs> browse abandonment flow to trigger before the abandoned cart flow. So that's just something to keep in mind. Now, again, I mentioned two to four hours is usually a sweet spot. So I recommend just testing it and seeing what works best for you. Then we get to adding our second email. So what we wanna do is, I'll just move myself over. So I'll add a time delay. So below email number one. And this time delay should pretty much be 22 hours for this flow. So the reason I've uh, selected 22 hours is because it should actually trigger 24 hours after the customer viewed the product and they bounced. So if this is two hours, this should be 22 hours. If it's say three hours, this should be 21 hours. So basically we wanna trigger this flow exactly 24 hours after they viewed that product. Because again, um, I've said this in previous videos, I'll say it again. We want, customers usually have very predictable behavior. If they viewed your website, say at lunchtime, then it's likely that they're gonna be free and on their phone around lunchtime the next day. So we want this to always be 24 hours exactly. So let's just click save. And then I'm gonna add an additional email down below. So this is gonna be our browse abandonment email number two. Okay, so this builds a structure within the flow. Now let me show you what these designs should look like. So this is an example of a browse abandonment flow that we've just put together for an existing client. And this is what the structure looks like. So email number one is more of a gentle reminder. So as you can see, we've said still deciding. Um, you know, we saved your items for you. And down below is gonna be a dynamic product block, which will actually highlight the exact products that the customer was browsing. Um, and yeah, as you can see, it's much more of a gentle email, nothing too salesy, nothing too pushy. And down below, we've added some social proof. So some reviews always go a very long way. And then just some extra icons down below to help the customer with that purchase decision. Now, email number two is gonna be a lot more of an urgency driven email. So the headline is, you know, don't leave your socks hanging. And as you can see, it says, grab, your, uh, grab yours before it's too late. So a lot more urgency. Um, and then again, it's gonna have the same product block of the products that the customer was browsing and then a review down below as well. So email two is a lot shorter. The goal is to get a click as quickly as possible. Um, and that's basically it. So it's a very simple structure. We actually design these emails on Figma. Um, if you haven't used Figma or if you're not a professional, I recommend just using Canva to design something similar. Um, and then basically you would just export this as images and directly paste them into Klaviyo. The only part you wouldn't paste is gonna be this dynamic product block, which is done directly on Klaviyo and I'm gonna show you how. So what we do after we design the emails outside of Klaviyo, just like you saw, so we use Figma, um, we're gonna slice that email and we're gonna import it directly into Klaviyo. So what we'll do is we click at, uh, the actual email number one and down below I'll click edit. So the actual template itself, click edit. And pretty much what we wanna do is we wanna delete everything here. So this stuff we're gonna import directly. So I'll just click delete, delete, delete. Pretty much we wanna delete everything except for this table over here. So this is gonna be the dynamic product block that will replace that block that you saw in the email design. So over here, what we wanna do is, so I'll just move myself over again. Um, we wanna modify this based on your brand. So make sure you have your exact brand colors, the exact uh, fonts that you guys use here. And we wanna really modify this to tailor towards your brand guidelines. 
So that's pretty much it. So we've just done it for email number one. We're gonna click through email number two and basically do the exact same thing. So that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate your time. If you have any questions, just comment down below and I'll respond as quickly as I can. Now, I release videos every single week on email marketing. So if that is interesting to you, feel free to subscribe. It really goes for a long way for our channel. And thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. See ya.